IFRO will test scrapjet engine. India's first reusable launch vehicle RLV. The Indian Space Research Organization has announced it will test the scrapjet engine it built on August this year. This test was supposed to have been conducted in July this year but was postponed after ISRO had to help look for the M32 plane over the Bay of Bengal on July this year. The scrapjet engine is a part of the organization's plans to build India's first reusable launch vehicle RLV by 2030. During the test, the engine will be fit on a two-stage RH-560 sounding rocket and launched to an altitude of about 70 km using conventional engines. There, the first stage will break off and fall into the Bay of Bengal. The second stage will coast horizontally for a bit, traveling at over six times the speed of sound. This is when the scrapjet engine will fire for five seconds. RH-560 signifies two things. RH means it's a Rohini class sounding rocket and 560 is its diameter in millimeters. It's modified second stage, to which the scrapjet engine will be affixed, is called the Advanced Technology Vehicle ADV. According to ISRO, it is a scale-down prototype of the RLV that will eventually fly on missions 14 years from now. To be more economical than ISRO's existing launch vehicles, the RLV should be able to carry payloads weighing 10,000 to 20,000 kilograms to the low Earth orbit. In turn, this could bring down the payload costs from $5,000 to $2,000. These numbers are important for ISRO to assert itself as a low-cost launcher. This is where the scrapjet engine could be useful. Rockets carrying tons of fuel to burn also carry tons of oxidizers to burn them with. However, a scrapjet engine needs only the fuel to be on board. It can suck in the oxygen from the atmosphere at supersonic velocities. This frees up additional payload space on the RLV. However, it must be noted that the RLV won't be powered by scrapjet engines exclusively. There will be one scrapjet engine working together with five Emil cryogenic engines. During the August this year test itself, IFRO will study the engine during its operation and then let the whole apparatus crash into the waters. In a first test conducted on May this year, IFRO had hefted another prototype RLV to 70 km and dropped it, checking if the onboard computer was able to guide the craft down as planned and if heat resistant affixed to the vehicle's underside performed as expected. The test was a success. After August this year, assuming the test isn't postponed once more, Three major tests will remain before ISRO will be able to qualify the RLV as being ready. They will each successively test various parts of the vehicle, especially the scrapjet engine's performance on a full-scale RLV and the RLV's ability to land on a runway in the middle of the sea. The dates for these tests haven't been announced yet. Thank you for watching. Please, like, command and subscribe.